Hello, I'm Dr. Pierre Anger, and today I'm going to talk about the recently completed TAC study. That's a trial to assess chelation therapy. This was a $30 million study funded by the National Institutes of Health that looked at the effectiveness of EDTA chelation. EDTA is a synthetic amino acid that is commonly used by alternative physicians to treat heart disease. Over 100,000 patients a year receive this treatment. While there are dozens of studies that show the effectiveness of chelation therapy, there has not been a large-scale multi-center study until now. In November of 2012, at the American Heart Association in L.A., the lead investigator of the study, Dr. Lamas, presented his findings. What followed was a storm of controversy. Now, some of this was caused by naysayers, some of whom were talking negative about the study before the results were even out. And most of these people were receiving large grants from drug companies. To be fair, some of the controversy resulted from the way the data was presented, which was confusing at first. However, now that the dust has settled, let's look at the facts. There were 1,708 participants in the study. All of the patients had already had heart attacks, or what we refer to as MIs. They were randomly assigned to receive either EDTA chelation or placebo. Neither the clinicians nor the patients knew what was in the IV. This is referred to as a double-blind placebo-controlled study and is considered the best approach to determine the effectiveness of a product. This slide from the American Heart Association summarizes the results. Overall, there was an 18% reduction in cardiac events. The major benefits occurred in patients with diabetes, a 39% reduction in cardiac events. Also, patients that had had an anterior MI, the most common type of heart attack, had a 37% reduction in cardiac events. These are huge differences, and in my view, justify the use of this therapy, especially since the study showed that chelation is extremely safe, a point often not mentioned by the media. So who might be a candidate for chelation? If you have heart disease, you might want to avoid a procedure like bypass surgery or stents. So you might consider this, especially since it's well documented that these procedures do nothing to extend your life. If you already have had a procedure, you may want chelation to prevent restenosis or clogging of the bypass or stent. For those of you who have multiple risk factors, high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, and a strong family history of heart disease, you want to do everything you can to avoid an MI in the future. So you might consider chelation therapy as well. If you have poor circulation in your legs, EDTA chelation therapy is well documented to help those of you with peripheral artery disease. Now, will your doctor suggest this therapy? <laughs> Probably not, because it's still considered alternative. But you can find a doctor that provides chelation at the American College for the Advancement of Medicine website. It's abbreviated ACAM. You can also learn more at getwellfl.com. I'm Dr. Pierre Anger, and thank you for listening.